Today we have a special adventure and we're excited. We're just getting out the boat right now. We are down here in the Florida Keys, headed out of John Penny Camp in Key Largo. Yeah, that's right, Dar Sizzle. <laughs> Very excited. We drove down in our Ford and Road King trailer all the way from Boynton. So uh, expecting a big trip. We had a very successful trip last time we came down here, if we recall that trip. If you haven't seen it, we'll link it here for you. Yeah. Check it out. Yeah, the mutton should be spawning. And uh, so we're super excited to get out and do some bottom fishing. That's a good dinner for me. Exactly. Today's a bottom fishing day. That's what we're going to be focusing on. So we got to get out there. We'll see you out there. Resume normal, safe operation. We made it out into the ocean. First things first is we need to catch bait. We have some like dead bait with us, but we're still in kind of a bad situation with that. And when it comes to fishing, it's all about shark hook, sharp hooks and fresh bait. So we need to go ahead and anchor and we need to get some fresh bait in this boat today. Uh, so I'm praying to God that the fish are gonna cooperate. I am now driving the boat to where we wanna anchor and we are using our low rance depth finder to find the ledge out here where it's about 50 feet of water. Uh, Pickles Reef is a very popular area and we are going to chum once we're anchored up and hopefully catch some ballyhoo and speedos. That's the goal. So I'm going to get ready here and tell Brian to drop the anchor in just a second. All right. Yeah, I see that pile of bait again. All right, it's 62 feet. Drop. Reverse the bow, you just threw it over the side. But anchoring is a team effort. I guess you could do this by yourself, but that's kind of tough. Nice. Going out already. Cross my fingers. Hope for a good bait today. It's a good bottom. Like I can actually see the bottom here. I like the bottom right, here we're too. We're gonna set, let it sit for a minute, get our bally hoop set up and get that set out and start to look for bait back here. All right, guys. I, I have been cooking it the heck, heck out of this whole trip. No, this entire week is not Brian's week. You guys won't believe what I did. He's been doing all kinds of crazy stuff. The first thing I did was I lost Darcy's fishing rod. It got stuck on the bottom. Uh, you know, you, you, really, you point to the bottom. Okay, thank you. Our buddy, my mutton man, is going to hook us up with some speedos right now. He caught, but uh, anyway, so I, th I had the thing pointed, and I got a lot of tension on it because I was going to break it. And the mono had built up so much tension in it, and, and spring that the thing just shot out of my rod, out of my hand. So brand a reel, the rod. It was so crazy. So that was. So I had to buy Darcy a new rod, a new Miami Mutton Man rod. And uh, and then yesterday, I mean, this is both of our faults, but it's my main responsibility to take the poles down from the T-top, and I didn't. We didn't, mostly me again, but, and I hit all these trees and I broke like three well, rods. That was the last. And then today I was just doing a bally hoop, a bally hoop, and um, the, like the end, Thank you. like the loop on the end of the yeah, rope got it. like, just came off the cleat and I didn't really notice it, and the thing floated off in the ocean. Don't stand up here, because I might have to back up real quick. Go, go. Nice. Awesome. Thank you guys, you're good. Oh, thanks so much. Thank you very much. Are those frozen? No, you just caught them. Oh, let's put them in the well. Thank you. Where'd they go? They're in the boat. He threw it in the bow. Well, that was the last bad thing in three. All right, Hopefully. so they just threw the... <laughs> these are Speedos. Fresh Speedos. Great fish. bait. Oh, sorry, I just cursed. Great bait. And we got a... Um, and Darcy, for some reason, we already have a ton of bait, but Darcy wants to throw and wants a more battle here. I'm not sure we why. We need to chum them real to, close, and I'm going to gonna go throw, and I think we're going to get a bunch, and we're going to go. All right. Just because we were, we were going to drop the bally hoop one more time and try to get one nice load. Don't blame me. And, uh, yeah, it is gone. We don't need them. What? We don't need them. We do need them. We don't need them. Shake it up real high, okay? Keep them high. Shake it at the surface. Yeah, up here more. Yeah, at the surface. Way yeah, up here. Right here behind the boat. All right, let's see how this goes. Just gonna chum the heck. Finish in, it. I am. When in doubt, chum it out. Now's the time. Yeah. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right. You got some, you got some. Fucking Not a ton. Oh, you got a bunch. Oh, my, we got a bunch. All right, good job. All right, 
Nice. That's, that's not something we do a lot. Darcy's kind of short to throw over the side of the rail. It's tough on this big boat. <laughs> but we got him. I got a dozen. Well, you got him. That's what I wanted. All right, you're right in the net. Woo! Good job, Sizzle. Woo! All right, not all over the floor. I know, I know. I got to get the net cinched up, up and we're going to drop it. All right, good job. Darcy's trying new stuff. I made up for Brian's lost valley hoop. <laughs> right, help me here. Whoa, 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 whoa. I think we almost have too many. It's okay. All right, that's good. As they die, you got to take them out. It's okay. Now, Bally here, we're very fragile. Maybe help me, please. You're good. Woohoo! Yeah, I got to try new things out here. And we just lost that Bally hoop. Come on! So I was like, we got to try. We got to try while they're so close like that. So that worked. And obviously, you got to put in a good amount of time before the Bally hoop get real comfortable to come to your boat. They're a tricky bait. Yeah, we don't have a lot of current today. And that was like two full things of chum. Time to go fishing, guys. Oh my God. Woo! Well, now we hopefully catch a fish. We've <laughs> killed the bait game once again. So we'll see what happens with the bait. Yes. I mean, we killed the bait game once again. We'll see what happens with the fish. Yes. Good job, Sizzle. Right. I actually opened the net too. I was so scared I wasn't gonna be able to do it on that lower level. I can't believe you just lost that value. Okay. But that's bad things come in threes. That's my rod, that's breaking three rods, and that's a valley hoop now. That's bad things in threes. I think we're done. I think. Watch it, watch it. You forget about the rods. Yeah, that's bad things in threes. Literally. And we lost that rod Thursday. Today's Tuesday. So in five days, all that shit just happened. Big mahi, nice mahi, get a spinner out. Come on, mahi's over here, I big I mahi. All right, I don't have He's anything picked up. All right, all right, I got him on. There he is. Is he on or not? He's on. All right, all right, all right. All right. Let's get a spinner out really quick. I'm keeping here. Maybe. Hook another fish. You got a 50 foot leader. All right. All right? Yep. There you go. Good job. All right, just tell me what his... to do. Yeah, tell I'm me what to do. I'm not getting tangled with mine. Okay. Get over, get over, you're over the top. You're over the top. Go over know, the top. I know, I know, I know. Come on, get that gap. He's coming quick. Get that fish over here. Brian, I am trying. Get him, get him, get him, get him, get him. Maybe you can. Oh my God. You should be using a little gaff for that. Woo! We got a fish! <laughs> Woo! It's not a bottom fish! But I'll take it. <laughs> we got to get a flat out immediately. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't yeah. let him bring up the rod. My fault, my fault. Okay, we oh, got right. really lucky catching that fish on a 50 foot leader for the bottom. <laughs> that was incredible. Oh, man. Nice fish, man. I'll take it. Watch that rod. Get that rod up. Don't let him beat it up. Whew. All right. All right, we got to get a flat out immediately, yeah, we will, we will. guys. We got nice mahi moving through the area. Miami Mutt Man told me that there's been nice fish down here in the Florida Keys coming through. And we just got a beautiful keeper mahi. Nice little male right there. He was with another fish, but I was like, you should get a flat, you know, get another line out, see if we can catch it because they stay with each other. Yeah. But um, we didn't have anything rigged because we broke three rods on our T-top yesterday. Yes, like I told you guys He's before. He's been having terrible days, so. All right, let's nice get the fish, lines guys. out. guys, let's get lines right back out. We have no lines in the water. <laughs> oh my God. Give me a chunk. You gotta get a bait out immediately. Oh, you can't eat it because of the 50 foot leader. Yeah. Why well, can't eat it because it's too big? You gotta get it. Just work on getting that line out. He's chasing got it. Got right here. Good job. Yep, it's the same Mahi. I think he's one with his friend. He's on mine. He's on good, mine. Good, good. Let him eat it. Let him run. Please, no, your chunk's on the surface. You gotta let him eat it. I did. No, I see your chunk. He's on it. I see his tail. He might have just, nope, he's still swimming. He's on it. We think we got another mahi back here. I was just trying to send out a bottom bait and I saw a mahi trying to eat it once again. So we're like, you know what? Let's get a spinner rigged up. Brian put a chunk out, fresh chunk of ballyhoo, and he thinks he's trying to eat it that back there, correct? Something's going on. Something's he, going on? He has it now. Okay. Locking up. Nice. There he jumped over there. Oh. Did he spit it? No, he's on. He's on. Good job. Is it a keeper? Yeah, all day. It's about the same size. No, he's smaller. No. Okay. Mario Mutton Man just gave me this rod because I broke all the rods yesterday. So we're trying out the new Mario Mutton Man spinning rods also. We just gaffed another fish with a Mario Mutton Man gaff. <laughs> yep. So guys, you're hooking us up today. So hurry up with we're that gonna link all. We're going to link his uh, store down below and all that good we're stuff. Where's your Mario Check it out. He's actually just a flipper. Flip him. No, I don't want to flip him. I want you to get I don't want to lose him because we're on, a YouTube on. channel. Come 
<laughs> All right. Woo! Fish number two in the boat. Yeah, buddy. He's like a little over a keeper. That's a keeper. Yeah. Called a flipper. That's what we call him. Nice fish. Pull him away from my leader. Now this is a, if we were a real fisherman out here catching 25 mahi, we would have just flipped him in, but we wanted to make sure we got him, so gaffed him. Yes. Them. We've been having not the greatest luck, as you guys know. So we're gaffing little fish. We don't care. Yeah, you guys are lucky I didn't net him. He's in the boat. <laughs> yeah, sometimes Brian nets mahi. Like, that's like... Listen, we're trying to make a living. This is, I'm at work right now. We I got to get these fish in the darn boat. I don't have time to be flipping them over like I catch 50 mahi a day. <laughs> you let him swallow that hook. Nice. Let's get that right back out. I bet you there's more back there. Dropping it down. I got a fish on. Doesn't feel right. Swimming it up. See if I got a hook. If I don't, we're leaving right now. Okay, no hook. Got kingified on the way down. All right, finally got a bite. It's going way over there. Trigger? Fucking shark. No. It broke off. Nice. Get her. Here we come. Looks like a mutton. No. Shark. Oh my god. The spots. The sharp nose. Watch yourself. You're right, you're right, buddy. Ugh! Fish, bro! I bring it up! Oh my god! Stop playing, oh my god. Bro, he just broke off! Oh my god. Play a shark. All right. Still struggling. It's almost quarter, it's like quarter of the five. And uh, Penny Camp opens at eight, so that's how long we've been out here. This is the hardest working girl in the, fish, in the fishing industry. Well, this is a massive amount of weed. I don't know. I just, I just weed. <laughs> Can't reel? Not really. Can you reel? Not really. You gotta give it to me. You gotta give it to me. That's a fish. Mutton. Hmm. Holy cow, I'm wrapped on that line. Okay. Wrapped on my line again. I don't understand how this is happening. Is that a keeper even? Still up on every line. I don't think so. He's gonna be close. Looks like he's a 17er. All right, guys, we are we are just struggling out here. We are just giving in our very best effort to try and catch fish, anchoring in different spots. Even with Miami man's advice, we are just struggling. There's definitely a bottom bite, but it seems to have like just slowed down the last couple days. But that's why we're down here in the Florida Keys is to try and get mutton snappers because. They're spawning and the bite's on fire on the bottom. Ugh. This is just eight, our grouper bait. And that's like the smallest mutton I have seen in ages. He's 18 and a quarter inches. 18 and a quarter. Yeah, squeeze the tail. I'm sorry guys, we come all the way down the Florida Keys and that's the only snapper we catch. He's staying in the box. Oh, we gotta keep fishing. I don't know what keep to fishing. say about that. Yeah. But um, we are, well, give me that hook. If we can get that, pop that hook out of his mouth, I'll tie it back on. But that's a great sign. I mean, that's our first mutton of the entire day for us. And he just ate that grouper bait, so I'm gonna try to pop that hook yeah. out really quick. Watch my finger. You sure okay. he's keeper? Yeah, you can double check him if you want, but if you pinch the tail, he's almost eight and a half. And a half. He's, so uh, we are just like, every like thing is getting thrown at us and lost the bait rig this morning and all that, just not our day. But we are still out here. I guess that's what matters, but I think we might be going home any second. <laughs> Gotta put your time in. We suck at fishing. Yep. And it just makes me think we like lucked out last time down here. Well, we were fortunate. We did great, yeah. I was about to say, where's the valley hoop? We're gonna put that away. <laughs> <sighs> Bad daddy. <laughs> Bad daddy. I, mean, I guess we definitely did learn a lot. Like he didn't do anything. He didn't go anywhere far or special. I mean, we were mostly next to him. Really excited. I thought it was a really great idea. It's the best time of year to do this. It was a good idea. Got the free place, and now we're never gonna do this again because it 
<laughs> just completely failed. And then I'll just remind you, well, remember, <laughs> Miami Mutt Man and Junior can slate him next to us all day long. That day, what are you talking about? We just suck. Because we couldn't get the bad luck off of us today. After the, <laughs> after the three bad things happening, still couldn't shake it. Oh. But I think it's over after today. I really do. <laughs> losing a bait net, snapping rods, and then thing. losing my rod. That's three bad things. It's not a thing. We're good. Plus the last two days, that's five bad things. You know, I mean, the thing. I mean, the thing with me is really there's two things. From a business perspective, we don't we, we, coming down to Key Largo is not going to make us any more money. He's just going to spend more money. So it's a. Net, it's not. A, you know, unfortunately, try to make better videos, and you just can't under these conditions with this risk, but on a risk. Second thing is, you know, we go in and we do this and all we do is fish and we don't like, you know. Be a normal person. We don't do anything good. Like we don't like, like stay down for an extra day and go to Key West. Or we don't go out to di uh, that dinner. Like what if that dinner was decent last night, that's kind of disappointing too for me, but. Yeah, that was disappointing. Um, all right, well, we won't do another trip like this for a while. Sorry, well, sorry, well, we're we going to be, we got, we got, we got up, a very busy July, I think. Of course, this is stuck at the bottom. But I'm just saying, you know, if all those, those things add up to like, just not like economically or any other way beneficial to me. I honestly thought we were gonna get two videos. Like, I guess I was overly optimistic about that, but yep. at least I figured we'd get one video or one good video with we have good catches one day. And uh, that didn't happen either. I mean, we're gonna make a video out of this. on the new moon again. I don't know, you know, we had the front yesterday and today's the day after a front, so the weather's different. So you can almost expect it to be today, honestly. You know what I mean? Like there was a front, which a which front has never done us any good. Ever. Before, like this whole thing about, oh, it's fishing is so much better before a front. Never did thing for us. And then, um, and then today's after a front. So like, you know, I didn't, I, I was like nervous about it today. I was like, it's after a front. It's gonna probably, you know, it could suck. Suck for us. The longer the day went, the worse it got. You know, everyone caught their fish in the morning. You know, whatever. And, you got those you know, blocks. and if we had gotten out here at seven, like what we normally do at six thirty, you know, maybe we could have caught fish till ten. Who knows? You know, but yeah. but you know, again, these front. You know, we know these fronts. We you know, this not good. They're not good. Whoa! What a trip to a sizzle. That was uh, yes. <laughs> What a trip. I have nothing to do. I don't know if we talked about it in this video, but we drove down to Key Largo with the Ford and the boat and the trailer and everything else no for two full days. Yeah. yeah. Special thanks to Ford, South Florida Ford and Road King Trailers, Darcy's Trailer Sponsor. Really just makes everything so super smooth. I mean, and easy and like we have no anxiety over the tra over the traveling and the trailering. Yeah, it's great. It's really great. So just make sure you, all you guys' equipment is in great shape and uh, you're going to have a lot more fun out there and not have any problems. But uh, I hope we mentioned it again, but we went for two full days. Yes. Like we stayed at the buddy's house. Thank you so much to him too. And uh, worked our butt off. Yeah, worked our butt off. You know, I did a ton of anchoring and moving around. And even my mutton man was helping us quite a bit. So really special help to him. You know, if you guys are doing a lot of bottom fishing in the Miami, Key Biscayne, down to the Keys area, yeah. he'll go on your boat. So you want to hire him to go on your boat. It's very affordable and you're going to save a million dollars in tackle and time and yeah. bait and gas just by hiring him once. Okay, he really he's really the man down there. So it's Miami Mutton Man. Yes. But uh But just goes to show you that, you know, like we knew we know what we we're doing for the most part. We felt like we were doing the right thing all day. And we were in spots and we just did not produce. Yeah. Meanwhile, Miami Mutton Man next to us, who's an expert, you know, he caught a decent amount of fish. He did like yeah, he some did, nice groupers. He did pretty well for you know he did three you beautiful know, black groupers and yeah. Yeah, so it just yeah. made me even more upset. Yeah, we were there. I mean, we were there for two days. We didn't show the first day. We caught no fish. Yeah, zero. So if we and if we hadn't caught those couple of mahi to swim by. Yeah. And then caught that short mutton, we would have caught nothing. Yeah. You know, so whatever. But let me get to the cooking part also. Um, you know, we're going to we're going to Belize right after this, so we didn't have a ton of time. But I mean, you guys have seen Darcy clean a million mutton and snappers. So. And uh, mahi. And mahi, right? So I didn't do that. I got to change hands with this. Yeah. So um. Cooking it. So this is. We did the mutton snapper. You can cook a mutton snapper a million ways. Half shell on the barbecue, delicious white meat. You can make, uh, you know, any of the sauces I always make all the time. You can look those things up. And but we, I decided to make tacos. We've never had mutton tacos. No. Okay. And so this time, uh, I decided to do it a little bit fancier and see how these would be 
how, what the difference would be instead of just throwing some mahi in a taco. So I uh, breaded it. Yeah, I breaded it. I I, um, I used coconut oil, and I fried them up in with some nice, simple, very simple breading, just you know egg wash and then breadcrumbs, and then you know they cook really easy. You just you know see if they're you know flip them over, poke them with a fork, blah blah blah. And then I made just delicious simple tacos with the shells. I like to put them in butter in the pan and all this stuff. I got the beer roll for you. It came a thousand times better than mahi tacos. Oh my goodness, yeah. It was amazing. <laughs> the difference was incredible. Amazing. <laughs> Darcy really loved them and I loved them. Yes. And so just coconut oil. This sounds crazy, but like from now on, I think I'm giving away most of our mahi. <laughs> <laughs> the mahi is just, you know, I mean, it's good. It's a good basic fish. It's like, I would say it's like, like a few northerners. It's like flounder up north to us though. Brian is slowly doing a circle. I know, my arm like, keeps on like getting moving. more tired. I keep moving. My arm keeps on like getting more and more tired. <laughs> okay. <No. laughs> I get further and further away from the camera. I'm sorry. My arm's getting, I've been out here a long time. Whew. So, uh, but that's it. So cook it up uh, and uh, we'll put the links down for my, my mutton man and all that great stuff in the trailer and everything else down yes. below. Check it out. Yep. Everything we use, all the good stuff he just talked about right down below. But thank you for joining us oh, for and this the adventure. Hoop. Oh, yes. And I lost the ballet hoop and I broke the rods. Yeah. And Darcy made fun mess. of me like five times in the video. It was a mess. And if you guys saw the prior video, we just <laughs> lost an $800 rig in the ocean. So bad things come in threes. I think we just wiped that out. Right, we talked about it in this video. We did. Yeah. Well, the rod oh, goes shooting yes, out. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Sorry. so long ago. <laughs> <laughs> Anyhow. Okay, I'm done rambling. Until our next adventure. Follow Bye your dreams. dreams and keep on catching. <laughs> That's right. In the very beginning. Yes. I was so mad. Yeah, you were so bad. And then I lost the ballyhoo. You were like, you won't believe what I just did. Yes.